Thank you again for joining us on the newsroom. Moves by the Senate to enact a law for the establishment of six new campuses for the Nigerian Law School were met with stiff opposition at the National Assembly on Monday. The stakeholders barred their minds at a one-day public hearing organized by the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters on the bill which seeks six additional campuses in Kogi, Bornu, Kebi, Anambra, Delta and Ekiti State. The arg arguments for rejecting the move were however faulted by some other senators and senior advocates of Nigeria, Femi Falano. Falano, however, tasked the lawmakers to address the issue of funding so that the new campuses will not suffer the same fate as those of existing ones. President Muhammadu Buhari has expressed the need for the judiciary to evolve strategies that would enhance the justice delivery system. While declaring the 2021 All Nigeria Judges Conference of the Superior Court open in Abuja yesterday, Buhari revealed that delay in the dispensation of justice, as well as the rising number of cases pending in various courts across the Federation, have remained a subject of grave concern to his, to his administration. Represented by Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo, Buhari stressed that Nigeria would not be able to attract foreign investors if its justice system is seen as inefficient and ineffective. The Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Economic Financial Crimes Commission have commenced rights violation investigation into the nation's lending industry. In a document signed by the Chief Executive Officer of FCCPC for the Joint Regulatory and Enforcement Committee, Babatunde Irukera, in Abuja on Monday, the committee would lead efforts to address multiple potentially dubious conduct of certain money lenders, otherwise known as loan sharks. According to Irukera, the meeting resolved to collaborate and pursue urgent enforcement actions against already known violators while investigating others with criminal prosecutions where applicable. The federal government has warned that a black market for illegal vaccination certificate procurement now exists in the country. Chairman of the Presidential Steering Committee and Secretary to the Federal Government of the, Federa of the Federation on COVID-19, Boss Mustafa, raised the alarm during the committee's media briefing in Abuja. He, however, assured that no vaccination certificate illegally procured will scale scrutiny whenever the need arises as all vaccination records have to be verified as authentic at every relevant point. The Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund has called on all employers of labor in organized private sectors and ministries, departments and agencies to enroll into the Employee Compensation Scheme. The organization disclosed this at the just concluded 2021 Lagos International Trade Fair. Speaking at the event, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Fund, Michael Akabogo, reiterated that the Employees Compensation Act of 2010, established by the federal government, is a scheme for the protection of the Nigerian workforce. He revealed that a total of 65,923 cases have been processed and paid as compensation under the scheme since 2021 when it commenced operations. Ecuador President Guillermo Lasso has disclosed that the country is seriously threatened by drug trafficking mafias who want to take control of all the country's prisons. The president said this after the heads of the armed forces and the prison service quit quit work following jail riots that left 68 people dead. He further said that a massive operation was underway by the police and the army in the overcrowded, overcrowded prison in Guayaquil where two days of fighting between inmates and armed with guns and machetes and explosives claimed dozens of lives. Brazil forward Neymar has been ruled out of his country's World Cup qualifying clash with arch rivals Argentina with a thigh problem. The Brazilian Football Confederation announced this. The Paris Saint-Germain star played the full 90 minutes and set up Luca Paqueta's winning goal as Brazil beat Colombia on Thursday to book their spot at the 2022 tournament in Qatar. Neymar will however not face Argentina who could not also qualify with victory against Brazil on Tuesday. Having already qualified for Qatar 2020 following their 1-0 win over Colombia, Brazil are first in the table heading into Tuesday's encounter with Argentina following behind with six points. That's all on the newsroom. Thank you for staying with us.